Howdy, welcome to Backwood Anglers. I'm Reed, behind the camera is my good friend Watson. I've recently started fishing over the last eight months and he's been a fisherman all his life, so his tackle video will be a lot longer than this, but this is just the base beginner stuff that I've started out with. We're gonna go over my reel, my rod, my tackle bag, and the two Cabela's boxes that I have. Most of this was a gift from my uncle, but some of the stuff I bought myself, and I won't, I'll try to mention as many brands as possible, but I don't know them all. I believe most of them are Strike King. So, yeah. We're going to start off with the Cabela's uh, Tackle Travel Bag. And um, it has a huge pocket here for these little two Cabela boxes. It has a little pocket with a netted pouch to put, you know, valuables while you're fishing. It's uh, waterproof, so you can tie it on your back and swim if you need to get to a new spot. I have tested that with uh, swimming through the uh, swimming through a river at my uncle's ranch. There's a back strap to tie it over one shoulder, and there's a little clip to the back strap if you want to put it on your chest. It's right here. You just clip it, and this rope tightens it. So now that that's out of the way, we'll set that right here. We'll go over the rod. The rod is an H2O Express 6.8 medium rod, fast action. Uh, it has a cork handle and it is meant for a spin reel. It has the big eyes that face away from you. When you, when you uh, cast, it's a very sensitive rod. Uh, my, uh, again, a gift from my uncle. Um, most of this was a gift from my uncle since he has been a fisherman for quite a while. Uh, this is my reel. I got it with my first ever combo that I got about eight, nine months ago. Uh, it's a Code 13 neon green and black. It came with a Code 13, I believe it was 6-6 six, six, uh, ultra light rod. It was a really good combo. I really enjoyed it and I ended up catching my personal best a uh, 33 inch 20 pound uh, redfish on it or red drum depending on what neck of the woods you come from we'll put that down and move on to the oh I forgot to mention the line it's pulled up with it's pulled up with 10 pound dark green Berkeley braid wrap that back around because I don't feel like reeling and put it over here this is my backup uh, for main line it is 10 pound spider wire braid it's a 300 yard value pack. Got this at Walmart for roughly, I don't know, I think it was like 10 bucks. Same thing for this one. A, oh, sorry, camera's that way. This is a gift from my uncle. It's um, Spider Wire Easy Fluoro 10 pound braid. Mainly use it for a uh, leader when I'm bass fishing, but uh, it occasionally gets used as a main line for uh, trout, uh, crappie. Um, any kind of small game fish. I don't really take it when I'm going for bass or cat or anything like that. It just kind of stays in the bag. Excuse me. This is a little like two prong Alabama rig style like imitation shad thing. Has a nice big trailer hook, a nice white uh, skirt. It's an, I guess all like shad white bait. It's got some sparkle like some gold sparkle, golden blue sparkle on it when you get closer. And uh, yeah, if in, uh, if anybody knows what this bait's actually called, please let me know. But so far, I've just been calling it a mini Alabama rig. Uh, next, we'll move to the buzz baits. This is a Strike King Toad Buzz. Um, never really fished this thing, uh, cause I um, have never, I've always had bites on other things. Uh, my favorite thing to throw is a crank or a swim bait, not a swim, jig. I'm not a very good, I'm not a very skilled angler when it comes to the swim jig. Not, not great at it. But, uh, this is a, obviously a topwater buzz bait. Yeah. Oh, uh, and just a shout out to Watson. He refuses to believe that this thing can even hook or attract a fish. So, much less land one. We'll put that right here while we grab the... I saw off the back of frogs. There's also a weighted swim book, swim bait hook in there and a little crawl that's supposed to be right there. 
Anyway, tackle box got a little messed up in our last fishing trip. We actually just got back from it about five hours ago. Uh, this is um, these little backup frogs. They have slightly darker bellies than this guy. So if it's a little darker, if it's a little, uh, I guess, clearer water, I'd fish this. If I ever did fish these. This is a little basic buzz bait. Uh, black and black and like royalish blue skirt with a black head on it. It's got uh, some bumps on the blade. I believe this is. I don't actually know the brand of this. I was gonna try to guess. Not actually sure. I know. I think I believe I said this was Strike King. I believe, not I think I believe. I believe that this is a Strike King bait. I believe I said that as well. Uh, gonna put those back in there and go down to these. This is obviously a little crawdad. A little crawdad. That's actually a bigger crawdad. Uh, more crawdad. More crawdad and more crawdad. So we'll skip that. That's just literally multiple color pro, uh, crawdads. Bobber stops. Uh, glass bead, maybe. I think. I believe. Like I said, never really use these. Saw them in a bass rigging kit. That was it. Was like 194 uh, pieces of different bass rigging stuff, and uh, it was only like 30 bucks at a Bass Pro. So I picked it up. Never used one of those, and that's gonna disappear and stay in there. Um, this is a bobber. These are bobber stops. You guys probably know that. Also, never used these, but you know, bullet weights and uh, split shot weights. Uh, a random assortment of EWT offset worm hooks, weighted hooks, um, or EWG, not EWT. But um, anyway, this is a two. Uh, I typically use these for smallmouth river fishing. In fact, Watson 20 owed me on a fishing trip. He caught 20 different fish. He caught, I believe, somewhere around nine or eight smallmouth. And the rest were like red ear brim and you guys your copy? No. No copy. Uh, I was just curious, I didn't know. Copy probably aren't even in rivers, I just sound retarded. Um Let's move that blade. I'm gonna take all three of these out because they like to stick together because they're uh, treble hooks and treble hooks just love to stick where they're not wanted. So We'll talk about this guy first. This is a green, and I believe chartreuse, but I'm gonna go with green and yellow. Oh, sorry, I just realized I held that out of the camera. It's this little bait right here. It's got treble hooks all in it, got red eyes. It's pretty good bait, and uh, this is a crankbait. Probably only dives about a foot. Yeah, it literally dives maybe It like like I said, this is also a smallmouth river fishing crank because there's a lot of rocks in the river we decide to fish. Uh, this is actually this long guy here. Uh, is let me get it unhooked. Oops. Well, this one wants to be shown off first. Uh, this is a. Uh, I don't really know what to call that. Uh, but this is orange and like browny green. Uh, again, a square bill. This is a square bill crankbait, and uh, I believe that was a square bill crankbait as well. I just didn't say square bill, but uh, yeah, it uh, this one dives a little deeper, it dives around three to four feet. This one dives only about one to two. I think this one dives three to five or four to six, I'm not sure, but uh, this is a um. This is actually a bait that I was fishing with Watson, actually. He's someone I go fishing with quite often, him and my little brother. Uh, this is a little, I guess you'd call it a lipless crank, but it does have a little, like, broke off lip right here. So I guess I just use it as a extended lipless crank. 
Uh, it's got two treble. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's got two little treble hooks on it. It's uh, I think he found this just like pinned up against a dock and pulled it out of the water. Cause I had just I had just lost a bait and I just lost a bait around a around a dock like one of the legs of the dock and he saw this near one of the legs and grabbed it because it wasn't wrapped around it and now I fish with it actually quite often. I just fished with it in Lake Burton in uh, Georgia. So needs the treble hooks replaced though. Yeah, it, it's very rusty. One of the I actually hooked up with a three and a half pound bass, a three and a half pound largemouth. Um, we weighed it and confirmed it. However, I did not have a phone at the time. My phone's broken. If you look right here, this is actually a burner one that my dad just picked up today to like it's literally my sister's old phone that he had sitting in a storage unit from when he moved that he went and picked up for me so I could use so I could have a phone this is a topwater frog I have multiple of them uh, I'm gonna start going a little faster here they smell like garlic they smell horrible when you leave them out for a long time and they give you a headache if you hold them like this for a while you couldn't see that but but uh, I held it to my nose and wanted to puke because I hate the smell of garlic but Bass love it. I've actually caught two largemouth. I believe, yeah, one, actually one may have been spotted, but I've caught two bass on these guys. Barrel swivels and a few little, these I use as brim and crappie hooks, but they're for rigging some sort of bait for bass. Uh, weighted swim hooks and a, weighted swim bait hooks and a couple other Random hooks. These are. I I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't know what to call them. I use them to rig up uh, Cinco's. But uh, we're gonna start with the Magic Bob, a bait that I absolutely love. Again, treble hooks love to stick where they don't where they aren't wanted. So I'm gonna have to take this jig head jig head out. Uh, yes, I realize my tackle box is a little unorganized, but uh, yeah, I just. Like I said, it got a little messed up when we went to uh, on our last fishing trip a little bit ago. These are Magic Bobs. It's a little topwater bait. It floats, but when you reel it, this little tail goes absolutely nuts. It throws a rooster tail. It throws a little rooster tail out like a jet ski that sometimes can come up as high about as a foot out of the water. I love these baits. This is a bluegill colorway. They have multiple. Uh, I actually have the package right here because I just got them yesterday. It's a Magic Bob. You can go to powercatch.com. It says the number one topwater bait that will take your fishing to a whole new level. Visit our store at www.powercatch.com. Not a sponsor, just a real big fan of their baits. They have only three baits that I know of. They have the Bass Crusher, the Greedy Hooker, and the Magic Bob. So, yeah, love this bait. Uh, I've caught two fish. Actually, on a fishing trip with Watson at a pond about... 100 yards from my house. It's not on my property though. I caught two fish in about five, maybe six casts. This, everybody knows, is a basic green Cinco, five inch green Cinco. It's the basic essential for pretty much, if you're a beginner fisherman, you can Texas rig this. It's hard to get hung up and it's a perfect bait to get bass. The way I uh, hook it is the basic wacky rig, let it flop around like crazy while I uh, and basically just make the bass want to hit it. I have some finesse worms. There's another one in there that's literally the same exact color. Uh, I've never actually used these. Uh, I'm not sure I ever will. I'm not a huge fan of them. So, but uh, we will figure out uh, a way to use these and hopefully eventually post on our YouTube channel a confirmed catch with them. Uh, Rage Tail, 100% know that. That is a Strike King Rage Tail. Uh, I actually, these are, I believe, also Strike King Rage Tails. What? Oh, my bad. Um, not sure if uh, this is a Rage Tail. I think it is. But this is a Rage Tail. And as you can see, there's a little hook hole where I was using that today. Might have to throw that bait away. 
This is a monster swim bait. I call it the daddy swim. But uh, I caught, I've not caught a fish on this yet. I got it in Louisiana from a cousin when I went down there to redfish. Uh, some black lizards, a line cutter, because it works a lot better and it's a lot cleaner. Uh, this is obviously pliers or tweezers, whatever you want to call them. It uh, holds, it clamps up, clamps down the weights, not clamps up, clamps down the weights, and it uh, helps get the hook out when, you know, the bass swallow it or a trout has teeth and you don't want to get bit or anything like that, anything of the sort. Uh, this is a nail uh, file. This is really for just, if I have to, sharpen a hook or anything, or sometimes I use it to like, if I want to like split the tail of a bait, I use the little kind of sharp end and split, split, it's something I would do. Um, this frog's actually pretty beaten up. The frog's under it or what I would probably use. Uh, over here we got some more crawls. Just some more straight up crawls. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I really appreciate all of you checking out the first video that'll go up on the Backwood Anglers channel. Hopefully we can post a few more videos. We are most likely going fishing tomorrow and we'll hopefully be able to put a video or two up on that. Maybe hopefully catch a fish or two. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. And peace.